David, these soft shell crabs are beautiful. Can you tell us a little bit about them? Well, it's the time of year they first start here in early April. It comes around the first full moon of April, and that's when it's starting up. And these come out of North River. They're a crab that's, they're molting, they're growing to a bigger crab state. You know, soft shell for just a little while. They have guys that sit around in tanks and look at these tanks and just make sure the crabs are to pull them out. And here they have a beautiful soft crab we'll get ready to cook up. I know that you have to clean them, um, take the gills out and the face off and stuff like that. If we were to go buy some at your fish market, would you do that for us? We clean crabs every day, make sure they're perfect for consumption. Okay, so for the soft shell crabs tonight, we're just going to keep it real simple. We're going to fry them and serve them with a little jalapeno tartar sauce. That sounds awesome. Yeah, I hope it tastes good too. Um, so I'm just going to season them with a little salt and pepper. Um, I've never done this way. This looks pretty, pretty simple to do. It's easy. And this is just half flour and half cornmeal. And we're just going to put each crab in there, turn it over, give it a good coating, and then shake it off a little bit. Get all the excess flour off. Um, I don't like a whole lot of breading on my fried soft shells, so we're just going to dredge the, them in this once. But if someone likes a little heavier crust, then you can take your crab, dredge it in, in the flour and cornmeal, dip them in milk, and then drop them back into the cornmeal and flour and do it again, and then you get a heavier coating. That makes sense. But this is just gonna be real simple and easy. I'm excited, it looks good. I'm good, I can feel it. That is, I can't wait to eat them. We're crawling around in an hour ago. All right, so if you like a crispier crust on your crab, um, you can just dip it in some milk and then dip it back in the breader for a thicker crust. Just in the fry daddy, we're gonna lay the crab in the basket and I'm using canola oil today, but any um, mild vegetable oil would be fine. So it's bubbling, you gotta use hot enough. It's about a minute and a half to two minutes. Of course, depending on the size of your crab. But when the oil starts to quiet down, your crab will be ready. All right, so this is our double breaded soft cell crab. It'll be interesting to have a comparison. You can beat, you can beat, uh, now that our soft cell crabs are cooked, Halleck is gonna tell us about her tartar sauce and also the difference between the single breaded crab and the double breaded crab. Just out of curiosity, here is a picture of a single breaded crab and the double breaded crab. The double breaded crab puffed up quite a bit more and still looks slightly breaded. Um, and we are gonna serve them simply on a little shredded green leaf lettuce tonight uh, with a jalapeno tartar sauce that I made. That is just a basic uh, tartar sauce. You can find the recipe online or in a book and add a little chopped jalapeno and a little hot sauce um, to give it a zip. Hey, let's see how these soft chilled crabs taste. They're gonna be great. All right. They are good. It's pretty good. It's a little lemon on mine. Does it? Mm -hmm. Tastes good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.